This video is going to be part of my um, survey through the Java Collections framework and similar to last video where we went through a article and we counted the number of times we saw each word, we're going to just find the total number of unique words in an article. And the way we're going to do this is using a set. So I'm going to create a new class. The class is going to be called uh, find num uh, unique words we'll do a public static void main and I have this article that I grabbed off of a news website we're just going to find the total number of unique words in here and the way we're going to do that is by reading the file in and pulling out the uh, text line by line splitting the lines into words and then we're going to put the words into a set and we'll see the set will automatically enforce uniqueness so I'm going to steal some code that I wrote last video and essentially it's just going to be the looping code that I use to read the lines in and I think we even go down to here So here's the code I've, I've taken, and uh, what it's doing here is we're going through the, um, the text line by line, and we're turning the words, or the lines into words. So uh, it's yelling at me because I need to throw an exception. Um, <clears throat> what's going on is I'm, I'm opening up a path. The path is my current directory to this project and I'm resolving article.txt, that's right here. Article.txt is this text from an article. And I'm creating a new buffered reader from a file reader that I got from the file path. Um, and then instead of this hash map here, I'm going to create a, um, I'm gonna create a set. And this is the set interface, set util. And we're gonna put strings in here because this is just going to be the words. And we're going to say uh, this is the words of article. And I'm going to use a hash set for this. And the way hash set works is that it uses hash code on the string to figure out if it has a unique string or not. So we're just going to uh, take advantage of string and hash set to do this. Um, all right. So just to make sure this is working, I'm going to make sure we can run this and actually get the line processed. I'm using my reader to read in lines, and in this while loop, I'm saying while there are lines, I'm going to process it. And I'm just making sure in this, uh, in this um, if statement right here that after I trim it, which means remove all white space, that I don't have an empty string. So as long as there's content in the line, that's what, that's what this is. So let's just call this if there is actual content in the line. That's what that if statement is doing there. All right, let's go ahead and run this program. All right, uh, it looks like it's running forever. So the last thing you need to do here is say line equals reader dot read line. Um, the reason we have to do that is we need to make the reader keep reading. And finally, when it gets a null, it will quit reading from the file because the file will be finished. Okay, let's go ahead and run that again. Okay, good. Finished. All right, so that's the entire article, and we're going to go through and split that word by word. Or we're going to go through line by line and split them into words. And the way we're going to do that is look for white space. Okay, so. Uh, this is going to be fairly simple. The, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go say for word or for string word in words and I'm going to say string cleaned up word and I'll say word dot to lowercase and I might do some other things here. Um, I'll say replace and I'll replace any comma with an empty space, with an empty character. And I'll do the same thing. I'll say replace um, any, um, let's see what else. They've got colons. You know, we can, we can keep doing stuff like this. Uh, ideally, you could use some regex or something to find this. 
Um, we're just going. I'm just going to show you this as an example. I'm replacing commas. I'm replacing colons because if I split by white space, I'm still going to have those in there. And finally, I'm going to replace uh, these um, these uh, double quote marks. So replace, um, and I'll do a backslash quote quote. That's how you have to do that. And I'm going to replace it with nothing, right? So now I have my cleaned up word, and I'm just going to say words of sorry words of article dot add and we're going to put in that cleaned up word okay this is going to be extremely simple actually once we're done with this uh, and I'm going to just sys out the um, the words of the article and finally I'll say print a new line and I'll say siso uh, How many unique words were in the article? Finally, we'll say uh, CISO um, words of the article dot size. And that'll give us the total size of that set. So sets are nice because they enforce uniqueness. You cannot put the same string into the set twice. It uses equals to compare the strings. So it makes sure for you that you don't have duplicates. So let's run this code and see what happens. All right, nice. So we got, we got our unique words. And you'll see if you go through here, uh, we have lots of weird things in here, right? Like dots, periods, we forgot periods. There's another one. Whoops. Uh, period. Okay, one more interesting one. Okay, there are a couple, there are a few uh, fewer, right? Last time we got 410, I think. So, and now you can see all of our words with periods are gone. So that's just a very simple problem. Um, we're reading every, uh, every line in from an article, and I'm just storing these words into uh, the reader. And actually, let's do, let's do a nice um, experiment here. Uh, let's just record, just, just so we can see how many actual words there were. I'll say int total lines equals zero. And I'll say int total words equals zero. And we'll say, um, we'll, we'll print this out at the end and it'll just give us a cool idea or a good idea of how, um, how many actual uh, words were in here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is say um, total words uh, plus equals words dot length, right? And uh, when I read lines, I'm going to increment this. So I will say uh, total lines plus plus okay let's print some more stuff out here um, total lines uh, what will be total lines And this will kind of prove to us that our set actually did something because the total words will be uh, different from that number of unique words and it should be this this should be much larger right because there are lots of words in here like a and the and don't and in uh, that are going to be repeated many times okay so almost twice as many words um, so many words were repeated so that's pretty much what we thought it would be, right? You know, um, there are lots of uh, V and R and N and A. So anyway, that was just a quick video showing you how to use a set to enforce uniqueness. And um, we did that by uh, entering each word. We transformed each word in the same way, and we add them into the set. And if the set finds a duplicate, it just discards it. So anyway, thanks for watching.